Oh, I'm starting this vlog out a little bit later than I usually do because I just decided to take a very chillaxing morning to really just reflect on all of the current events that are going on around me. Lot, lots of sadness, um, but I won't go into that. But anyway, my car um, or earlier this week on my way to health assessment class, I have health assessment every Thursday from one to five um, at my university. And on the way to class, I noticed that there was something off with my with my driving and my car was, um, the wheel was shifting by itself automatically. Anyway, not to draw this story out, I ended up getting a flat tire on my way to class. I've never had a flat tire before. I don't know the steps or the processes to get through, get through a tire change. Um, I haven't looked at my, this might be embarrassed, embarrassing to say, but, um, I haven't looked at my like car insurance in a long time, so I forget what I have. And luckily, luckily I had all of that stuff covered um, to get it fixed, but I'm so thankful. And I tell everybody this, I was like, yes, getting a flat tire stinks. I have never had this experience happen to me before, but I'm so thankful that my tire, one that I left an hour early to class, that way I could get the help that I needed and still have time to Uber to class and be there still 15 minutes um, early. And then also I'm very thankful that um, it happened in a neighborhood close to where I live. So I was able to get help close to where I live. So I knew the area, I kind of knew the neighbors, neighbors around me and I didn't feel unsafe, if that makes sense. So. My car is currently in the shop um, because with the tire coming off, I needed a new tire. And then also, um, as I was trying to pull off to safety, I I guess I drove on the wheel and it bent. I'm so not a car person, but either way, I need a new wheel and a new, new tire. So I say that my car was admitted overnight. Um, there's hospital lingo for you, but I say I brought my car to the car hospital, so I haven't heard back anything yet. I'm hopeful to hear, to maybe hear something later today, but also thankful because I don't really have anywhere to go. My graduate school's primarily online except for Thursdays and Fridays, and I already finished out my shift for the week um, at the hospital, so tomorrow i can go i can uber to class if i need to and then joey and i get out at the same time at around five and he he will be there we go to our classes are right across the street from each other which is super nice so we can uh we can drive home together which will be really nice so also thankful for that that i don't have other priorities that i really need to get to or that i don't have an, a, another option that i can use to she owns it So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you see her I know that you would believe it Cause I I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Everyone's taking their shot But missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives some crazy When she's looking like that She's moving, makes him want it so bad Gets the attention that we wish that we had Yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I'm running in circles just to make her react My heart is racing, yeah, I want her so bad I wanna kiss her, but okay, I'm not We have officially waited downstairs We are dressed and ready for the day so uh, right now all i want to do is paint my nails because mine mine have seen better days and i'm not really fond of the color i picked anyway so i thought we could pick a color together i really just have pinks and white so <laughs> whichever one that will be but in the meantime i ordered some groceries a while ago to be delivered at the house 
um, just because, you know, I don't have a car, so I can't go anywhere in our grocery stores um, a little bit more than a walk away. But it's taking a little bit longer than usual, probably because it's a little bit later in the day. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get our ingredients to make our fun heart-shaped pizzas tonight. But if we don't, we'll have to come up with another plan. Joey and I are the king and queen of just adaptability, so we'll make something work. But let's go ahead, not worry about that at the moment, and get our nails painted. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm, mm, mm. it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. Okay guys, as we let these little fellas dry before I start wiping the edges just to really get them nice and crisp, I just got a text saying that my groceries were on the way. Sorry, I just got an email from my pharmacology professor. So I hope everything's okay. So I'll have to read that after this. But my groceries are on the way, so hopefully they get here before Joey gets here and then we can get started on dinner. Because when Joey gets home, he is a little hangry, little hangry boy. <laughs> But I mean, so am I. So I try to try to get dinner or at least close to dinner or have a dinner plan ready for him when he gets home. And then he does the same for me whenever I'm working or whenever I'm in university as well. So I want to get started on that. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me see what my professor said because she's popping off in the emails right now. But I'm really pleased with the nails. I was going to get a toothpick and put a little heart on with them, but... I have no toothpicks, so we'll figure that out another day. But um, let me see what my professor is sending in our email and then I will catch up with you guys once my groceries are here. Okay, you guys, our groceries officially came. Thank goodness, and Joey's on his way home. I already ruined one of my nails, but we will fix that later. I wanna show you guys what we got. Oh, Joey's home, so. Got some mozzarella for the pizza. Hi, Joey. Hey, Welcome home. You're so cute. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Huh. I'm showing everyone what I got. Oh, nice. But look at this. This tomato oh, is giant. It is. Did you see it? I saw it. Tomato. I mean, our tomatoes usually that big. I like that bow. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking all over, but you did. <laughs> <laughs> got some salad for lunch too, or for dinner. How's work? Good. Oh, I got some more lemonade. Just not. I don't know how to add two pairs. Oh, I'm just stripping in my kitchen. I got some basil. Fun, fun, fun. But I got um, lemonade for raspberry lemonade again. Oh, cool. And that be fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no. They forgot my sauce. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Guys, I remember this Joey. And and they just don't eat them. They just don't eat them. Thank you. Oh, it's in here. Okay. So then we, we're going to do a pepperoni pizza. Joey likes pepperoni. And onions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, then I just got the Pillsbury crust. So that's, that's pretty easy peasy because we're going to be experimenting today. So we might as well have some a nice control group. Right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get set up. So hopefully we can have some nice heart-shaped pizzas. Yes. 
What is it, kiddo? Okay, you guys. <laughs> Let me tell. So, they're the heart shaped pants that I got a while ago. I need to wash them because they still have little gummies inside. But my theory is if we put pizza crust inside of these guys, they will stay in the shape of a heart. Doesn't that make sense? I think it makes sense. So, only one way to find out. Either way, if it doesn't work, that's okay because we'll still have pizza at the end of the day. Now they'll have varying cooking times. So, TBD. Wait, oh, you've never opened one. Joey's never opened one of these guys. <laughs> what a treat for all of us. Oh, okay. Here's a tutorial. Come here, well, it's a hands-on tutorial. He's, he's gonna do this one. Do you see this line right there? Mm -hmm. You're gonna press it with your thumbs with a lot of pressure, but not too much. Uh -huh. And then it's gonna pop open? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> 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 Whoops, he said he's gonna pop open. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> Okay guys, we have switched locations. Now I'm gonna take these uh, little turkey pepperonis and attempt to make them into little baby hearts. So I'm gonna fold them just like kindergarten style. And do a little bit of a snipperoni on the pepperoni. How funny. Joey, you didn't think that was funny? Okay. I thought that was hilarious. Oh, that is enough. You're filming enough of what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, look, look, look. Oh, oh my God, that's pretty good. It's cute. Oh, my God, my head looks crazy. You always look crazy. And then look oh, at the outside that <laughs> you can put on the Oh, that's little. pretty cool, too. Isn't that silly and cute? Very silly. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and decorate these pizzas. Joey's doing the medium sized guy, and I'm doing the big boy. And we are going to show you guys what they look like during the process. During the process.
Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys into the oven. We're gonna decorate the little mini guy real quick too. I'm just gonna do a little pepperoni action, but we'll let you guys know what they look like when they come out of the oven. guys this is what the pizza ended up looking like it is so cute cast your comments down below which one you think is the best <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we're all equally beautiful okay. <laughs> okay okay we are going to take a bunch of pictures so i can post these on my instagram because i am pretty pretty proud of this guy and this guy this is so handsome. Handsome pizza by a handsome boy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then that guy. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching our pizza journey. We'll let you guys know how it is in a few seconds. Yeah. Our pizzas look so cute. Right, Joey? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they look good. They were very yummy. Or we don't know yet that we hope they're yummy. But um, they look very, very good. They did. And they were very fun to make together. So mm -hmm. what a fun memory. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to eat these pizzas and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.